there are competing visions for the future of the West. And what traditional ranchers see as the future is very different than what conservationists see for the future. Mexican wolves are kind of trapped between those competing visions. In the American Southwest, the Mexican gray wolf is considered one of the most endangered land mammals in the world. It is in this wild and rugged place where the Mexican wolf is making its return to the wild. And starting over from only seven founding animals means the genetic health of the population is still a fragile and challenging one. The Mexican ray wolves in the wild are highly inbred. We're at a very critical point. Every genetically valuable wolf is very important to the population. But their return is highly controversial. How far do we have to expand the territory on the concept of preserving these species? How far does it have to go? Can Mexican wolves live alongside us? Or will history repeat itself once again? I think that would be a tragedy if we let this species go when we had the opportunity to do something about it. Mm -hmm.